In this video, we will see an example on phasors. Question, calculate the complex number and express your results in rectangular form. So, here we have to simplify this complex number and get the results in rectangular form. Solution, let us say, let z is the complex number and it is equal to this value. Let us copy it from here. Now, we know that here we have to perform the multiplication and we know that multiplication and division are better performed are better performed in polar form in polar form so here we can see this is in polar form but this 5 plus j12 o, j12 it is not in polar form it is in rectangular form so we will convert this rectangular form to polar form so convert rectangular form rectangular form to polar form what is rectangular form this z is equal to x plus j y this is called as rectangular form and now what is polar form z is equal to r at an angle phi this is called as polar form now how we can convert rectangular form to polar form the formula is we need to convert x plus j y in r at an angle phi so the value of this r is under root of x square plus y square at an angle the value of this phi is 10 inverse of y by x so let's take this 5 plus j12 5 plus j12 so here this 5 represents x and this 12 represents y so we have to change it in r at an angle phi form the value of r is under root of x square plus y square at an angle 10 inverse of y by x so the value of x is under root of phi square plus the value of y is 12 square at an angle 10 inverse of y by x the value of y is 12 and the value of x is phi so if we simplify this in calculator under root of phi square plus 12 square so it is 13 at an angle 10 inverse of 12 by 5 so it is 67.38 67.38 degree 67.38 degree now let's put this value here let's copy this now in place of this value so 20 plus 16 at an angle minus 50 degree and in place of this 5 plus j12 we can substitute this value 13 at an angle 67.38 degree so this will be 20 plus we have to multiply this 13 16 into 13 16 multiplied with 13 so it is 208 208 at an angle this will be minus 50 degree we have to add this because we are doing multiplication of this polar form so plus 
67.38 degree. So this will be now 20 plus 208 at an angle and this will be minus 50 plus 67.38. So it is 17.38, 17.38 degree. So now this is in polar form and this is in rectangular form we can say this is the value of z and we know that addition addition and subtraction are better performed are better performed in rectangular form in rectangular form to convert convert polar form to rectangular form polar form to rectangular form let's see how we can convert polar form to rectangular form r at an angle phi this is called as z is equal to r at an, r at an angle phi it is called as polar form and z is equal to x plus jy this is called as rectangular form rectangular form so now if we want to convert from r at an angle phi to x plus jy so the formula to convert from polar form to rectangular form is r cos phi plus j sin phi so let's convert this polar form let's copy this from here so it is equal to here we can clearly see this 208 is r and this is phi so the value of r is 208 in bracket cos phi value is 17.38 plus j sin phi that is 17.38 so if we solve this in calculator directly we get 208 into in bracket cos 17.38 then plus i into sin 17.38 so it is equal to 198.50 198.50 plus j 62.13 62.13 now we got the rectangular form for this polar form so let's copy this and in place of this 208 at an angle 17.38 degree we can substitute this value so let's copy it from here now we can easily simplify this so we have to add the real parts first so it will be or we can add directly 20 to this answer so plus 20 so the final answer will be 218 218.50 plus j 62.13 so this is the final answer for z and we know that z is equal to z is equal to this value so let's copy it from here so z is equal to 
this value so this is the final answer in rectangular form 218.50 plus j 62.13 this is the answer in rectangular form so this is how we can convert rectangular form to polar form because we know that multiplication and division are better performed in polar form and also we have seen that how we can convert polar form to rectangular form because we know that how we can how addition and subtraction are better performed in rectangular form so this is how we can simplify complex numbers and get the answer in rectangular form so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching